So this is how I start my day. It's 5 a.m. I get up, I get my workout clothes on, and I come upstairs. I work out in our playroom. And sometimes it's a little challenging because my children actually play up here. And we don't always pick up the train track. As you can see, there's a train track on the floor. And I've got to figure out where I'm going to fit. But I'll make it work because that's how important it is to me. It's important to me to start my day really digging deep and filling my soul and getting my blood moving and my muscles moving and everything. Working out and doing our programs is one of the three vital behaviors as a coach. It's showing that our products work and being proof that they do. So this is where it all begins for me. So workout's done. 30 minutes in and out. Now I'm going to sit down and part of my morning routine is to do a devotional and have some quiet time and prayer. And then I'm going to wake my kids up and I'm going to begin the process of feeding them breakfast and making their lunches for school. Lunches are made. We're about to leave for school and it's time to make a shake. Okay, so now morning chaos is coming to a close. Kids are fed for the morning. Lunches are made. And I have got my breakfast in hand. This is how I start my day every single morning as far as my nutrition is concerned. Shakeology is our biggest product. It is a daily dose of dense nutrition. And as a coach, I can represent this product and how wonderful it is for our health. So this is me on the go, taking the kids to school, drinking my breakfast along the way. Okay, so I've worked out, I've gotten the kids ready and off to school, and I've had my breakfast. Next on my list is personal development. Personal development is one of our three vital behaviors, and I used to think it wasn't that important, but when I started implementing it into my life since becoming a coach, it has shown me what a huge difference it can make in your psyche, in your belief in yourself, in your positiveness. I mean, it, it has improved dramatically in my life in, in showing me that I can do anything, anything at all that I want to accomplish. So what it is, is you're listening to a book on audio or you're reading a book for 10 minutes a day. There are countless, countless books out there to help you improve yourself. See, we can't be the best for others unless we're the best for ourselves. Unless we're constantly making ourselves better, then we are better for them. And that is why it's one of the vital behaviors because it really will help you. The days aren't always easy. There are struggles and there are mountains to climb. And when those things happen, personal development is what gets you through it. What keeps you believing that no matter what, you can do it. And honestly, for me, it's made me a better wife, a better mom, most definitely a better coach. I feel like I'm more equipped to help my clients because I am feeding my brain every day with ways to be better myself. And that's what it's all about. We want to be better and we want to help others be better. So hugely important. And so how do I fit it in? Because yeah, we're busy. You see the earplugs in my ears. Well, I listen to it in the car while I'm driving. I do it when I'm folding laundry, cooking dinner, um, when I'm in the grocery store even. And it's a way for me to multitask. I'm still getting other things accomplished. I'm not wasting time. And I'm actually using my time wisely. And it's feeding my brain while I'm doing those other actions. So there's always a way to fit it in. Be creative in how you do it. But in the end of the day, if you can make it happen 10 minutes a day, it makes a big, big difference. And that's how I do it. Okay, y'all. So the last vital behavior that we haven't discussed yet is inviting. And inviting is crucial to your business as a coach. So this is where the magic happens for me. And yes, it's in my bedroom. But honestly, this is the place that I can get the most accomplished. I feel the best about sitting down in this room. There's tons of windows, tons of light. And I can begin the quiet and I can focus. We have an office in our house. My husband is retired Air Force, and it's full of Air Force paraphernalia. And honestly, it just wasn't me. I wanted a place that was my own. So we made a little corner in our bedroom, and this is where I sit. Um, so here, let me just share a little bit about what I do when I sit down to work my business. The first thing that I have, and I always have it with me, is my to-do list. I look at this every morning because I write it every night before I go to bed. I update what I have to get done the next day. 
So this always with me. I also have my computer and it is open to Facebook because Facebook is where I do 99% of my business. Social media is a huge aspect as a coach to use. It's a tool that you use to build your business and it's what you use to invite people most of the time. Okay, and then I have my power of threes, which I'm not going to get into this a lot, but this is a training tool that we use and it helps me keep up with who I've invited, who I need to follow up with, who I'm talking to about the coaching opportunity, and so on and so forth. So it's just a way to keep track and keep yourself on on board with what you're doing and stay organized, which is hugely important. So how does this all get done? Well, it, it honestly is just about sharing. It's about sharing what you're doing and, and spreading the word to other people. So how do we use it on social media? We post. We put posts out there about our workouts and how our life is improving and how we love our um, the way that we feel and our nutrition and what we're eating. And there's all kinds of ways to share your journey. You also will specifically invite people to challenge groups or um, personally message people that you've talked to about health and fitness before and you think they might be interested in being a part of your group. There's all kinds of ways to do it, but this is how I sit and I focus and I get it done. And I don't just do it once a week. I do this every day. If you want your business to grow, and flourish and if you want to help as many people as possible while also improving your financial fitness it's a daily activity it is a vital behavior just like working out drinking your shakeology and getting in your personal development and honestly I don't sit here in drudgery going oh I have to work I don't want to work I sit here with anticipation and excitement and inspiration about the next person that's going to say, yes, I wanna be in your group, please help me achieve my goals. I am fueled by that immensely. And so I sit here excited to start my business day. So that's how I get it done and this is where it's at. Y'all have a good day.